wonder what down there that been hit. Berto staggered again. Straight left hand by Ortiz. And Berto does go down in the corner. All, all of Ortiz's punches are very good. There's the right hand down. again. And now Berto has a knockdown. That's making the distinction for you. <laughs> down goes Ortiz on a perfect right hand shot by Berto. The cut is good too. Now Ortiz is gonna. Oh! Maksyong bakbakan pa ang gusto mong panoorin? Eto na ang laban na hinahanap mo, ang duelo na nanalo ng Ring Magazine 2011 Fight of the Year. Magandang araw mga boxing fans at welcome back sa Sports Manda. Kung bago ka pa lang sa akin channel, i-click mo ng subscribe button at ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga video uploads ng inyong lingkod. Sa larangan ng boxing, malaking factor ang timbang na inyong paglalabanan at sa championship bout na ito, umakyat pa sa 147 pound division si Vicious Victor Ortiz para harapin ang nooy kasalukuyang WBC welterweight champ Andre Berto. Ang laban ng dalawa ay naganap noong April 16, 2011 sa Foxwoods Resort in Connecticut, USA. Favorite na manalo si Berto sa laban dahil bukod sa nadepensa na niyang kanyang titulo ng limang beses eh, siya din ang nooy top 3 welterweight kasunod ni Pacman at Mayweather. Isa pa, dayo lang si Ortiz sa welterweight division. Alam mo naman na kapag umakyat ka ng timbang at lumaban sa kampiyonato eh, medyo mababa ang ibibigay sa iyong chance para manalo. Maliban na lang of course kung ikaw si Manny Pacquiao. Himayin nga natin saglit ang ring record ng dalawa. Si Andre Berto ay may undefeated record na 27 wins with 21 knockouts. Samantalang si Victor Ortiz naman ay may numerong 28 wins with 22 knockouts, 2 draws at dalawang talo. Ang dalawang kabigo ni Ortiz ay mula sa disqualification due to illegal punch noong 2005 at ang isa naman ay nang mati KO siya ni Marcos Maidana noong 2009 para sa WBA Interim Super World Lightweight Title. Kung isasummarize natin ang dungi sa kartada ni Ortiz, meron siyang hokagi teknik kaso suspect din ang kanyang malambot na panga. Pero pagdating sa lakas ng kamaw eh, wala na tayong masasabi niyan. Kaya tara mga pare koys, let's go back in time at panoorin natin ang full fight highlights ng bakbakang walang atrasan na Andre Berto vs. Vicious Victor Ortiz para sa WBC Welterweight title. Touch him up. They were contemporaries as amateurs. They never knew each other personally. Explosive fighters that I've known, but physically I think he's still stronger even though the other... In the first round, Berto is busier and down goes... Berto, he's gonna say that Berto tripped over Ortiz's foot. If he didn't Five. land, he wouldn't have went down there that been hit. Berto staggered again. Straight left hand by Ortiz. And Berto does go down in the corner. Surprised by that. I'm stunned. Berto paces Ortiz with a big right hand. Ortiz walks through it. Keeps throwing. Berto from behind in the late rounds to reel in Colazzo. Don't know if he's been hit with as big a shot as the left hand was part of the damage. The first two punches were also part of the damage. Berto was clearly wobbly and woozy at that point. Power. Very, Sam Berto has his composure damage. back. Yeah, they're very explosive. Anything like the fireworks we saw in the first round here. Good uppercut by Berto. Trying to land one or two short punches. There you go, those short but compact punches. All, all of our team's punches are very good. There's the right hand shot. again. And now Berto has a knockdown. That's an official knockdown, but it, it was probably due to balance. But the punch. Right. So now, three Good times time. fighters have been on the canvas. Right. And Berto's landing his straight right hand. And you've already seen the damage it did. Yeah. Only 5 of 14. But two of them were those big right hands. Ortiz, 16 out of 32. So Ortiz. Break, break. Let him a slug fest, which has taken place so far. But they're back to slugging again. But I, Berto is still never to me the way Berto was when he went down. Uppercut lands for Ortiz. Berto hasn't yet seen the uppercut. Hard right hand by Berto. The... And Berto alternating between looks of desperation. Is being asked questions here he's never had to answer before. I mean, I agree with you. I don't know why I kept most of the win, because every time... Bert... I, I mean, not be losing tonight. That will not be denied. And that's the way he's fighting. Two more hard shots. Another right hook for Ortiz. Right. He's tired. Big left hand by Berto. Ortiz Russell. walked right through it. There you see the legs. That's why he's in the ropes. His legs are still weak to me. Still leaning against the ropes for support. Still motioning constantly between hey, the watch your head. Careful. The image of Ortiz coming into this fight that he he was more flighty 
he could stand toe to toe with him. Now he another pair of big guts. Good, hard. Ortiz testing Berto's legs once again. Probably should have been fighting all the time. This was part of the mantra for Ortiz coming into the fight. Big on the outside coming up. With a lot of power shots in the third and fourth. They settled. Island of Jersey off the English coast. Slow start for him. Or is it just Ortiz? I think it's making the distinction for you. <laughs> Down goes Ortiz on a perfect right hand shot by Berto. Berto stood in the center of the ring. Hard right hand by Berto. It's good too. Now Ortiz is gonna. Oh my God! Unbelievable! What a fight! Chago getting in position to stop the fight, and then Berto goes down. The phrase fight of the year candidate is perhaps a bit overused, but mark it down, baby. This is it's the two. Victor Ortiz. You know, Jim, let's talk about rounds. As compared to Brendan Sestier shows, to me, he's got a lot right. more left in the tank. Right. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Does anybody think we've seen the last knockdown in this fight? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to sit back and try to catch Ortiz coming in with one perfect shot. But you know, he's fresh. And their legs aren't fighting and for any fight that he's won. It's amazing that All the way. Andre Berto is settling into a little bit more of a. There's never been any lack of power in the punch. Uh, the man was old. Berto hasn't been able to pull the trigger in no. these last three rounds. If he doesn't do something to assert himself, I'm not sure he can pull this out. And uh, he's got to try to land that right hand. Well, let's get three Victor Ortiz. There's no question. There's the shot. Michael Ortega discerns that Ortiz One hit Berto in the back One of the point. head. And now... There's no doubt it's the motivation to try to make the round an even round. Weather in the welterweight division. And that this is the first Looks fight. Looks like there's a new welterweight in town, and his name is Victor Ortiz. Fighting like a man possessed against Break. Andre Let's Berto. Go. The guy was down, holding his head, and you purposely, purposely hit him. That was in the Let's midst go. of throwing an exchange of punches. Our shot's in the 10th round, Ortiz. Behind the head. And take a step back, he would be better, because they keep colliding. They're going right, they're going right together. If he could just move forward and in. the ropes trying to help or trying to get the ropes to help him stand up and who would be a big box office attraction boxing man here tonight <laughs> On round, Danny Garcia has been large for keys and that's pretty much all he's had to do because Victor has been bringing it in every single round is the welterweight champion of the WB he has created for himself a style which is about risk and he just got hit with two big shots to try to rescue his position in the welterweight division. He has a magical backstory. There were some in the past several months, and fans will not be able to wait to see him once more. We've seen fighters like Klitschko and Lennox Lewis. For your winner, by unanimous decision, vicious Victor Ortiz. Ang lupit ng ipinakitang performance ng dalawang boksingero. Clearly, mas napagod sa late round si Andre Berto na maintain ni Ortiz ang kanyang punch output at aggressiveness hanggang sa tumunog ang bell sa last round. 
Kaya kung titingnan ang punch statistics, lamang sa lahat ng kategorya si Ortiz. Overwhelmed sa kasayahan si Victor Ortiz dahil sa wakas eh, nakuha din niya ang pinapangarap niyang kampiyonato. Well, ito lamang po ang ng Sportsmanda sa inyo. Maraming salamat at God bless!